you today to share with you a little patriotic wreath that I'm going to make for one of my back doors. I actually have three back doors and I like to have something on all the doors during the summer. Now some of you have seen those really cute bandana patriotic wreaths. I know you probably have but what they don't tell you is that when you start when you go to buy the bandanas two for a dollar it still is going to cost you between ten and twenty dollars to have enough bandanas to cover one of these wreath forms. Now I just happen to have a, a wooden ring that I will probably use for mine this time but they also as most of you know have these little wire ones at Dollar Tree that work perfectly. I recycle this over and over again about every season so that's the reason why it kind of looks used. Instead of bandanas I came across this super cute little red check plaid twin dust ruffle and when I saw that I immediately thought of bandana and thought you know I could use all you know all the fabric off of this twin dust ruffle you know a dust ruffle is 14 inches long and if I cut the squares 14 by 14 that would give me quite a few bandanas to make this that's just encourage you when you are looking in thrift stores to look at places that you least expect or be able to use fabric in a different way so I got this whole dust ruffle for four dollars you know, I couldn't even buy a, a yard of material hardly for $4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, detach all the fabric and just have a big long strip of red and cut it into 14 by 14 squares. But I'll get back with you with that in just a few minutes. You can even use a ring of cardboard to make this. Super simple. And then I'm uh, since I'm going to use this wood one, I'm going to probably paint my wood ring red just so that the uh, natural wood doesn't show through in case... There's a little uh, space between the fabric strips. And then I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and just saw these little whimsical stars. They're 39 cents each. You know, they're not big enough to write God Bless America or anything on them, but they are big enough to write USA. So I'm going to paint these navy blue. That'll give a little navy blue into my wreath. And then I'll probably will put USA, three letters on there. And I think that will look cute. So when I get back with you, I'm going to have my fabric cut and prepared and show you where I'm at on that. I have my wreath painted and my stars painted. It's going to go pretty quick after that. Okay, let me catch you up where I'm at now. All right, I cut all my red fabric off of the dust ruffle part and I was able to get exactly 20 bandana sized uh, squares. Uh, I'm just guessing a bandana is around 14 by 14, but it just worked out perfectly. I got 20 out of a twin dust ruffle. And here is my wood form drying and then here are my blue stars drying. I'm going to cut these bandana squares in half and then I'll get ready to show you how I'm going to tie them on to my wreath form. Okay I got most of my little squares already cut in half and I'm not being exact with it whatsoever. I'm just kind of eyeballing them in half. Okay, now we're ready to tie them on to the wreath form. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my half of my fabric and just kind of bunching it up. And since I have so many, I don't necessarily have to do a double knot. What I'm concentrating on is making sure that my knot is done the same way every time. So I'm just doing one over under knot and then I'm squishing it up. The tighter they are, it'll secure those little knots all the way around. Okay, I've managed to work my way around all around the ring and I'm going to do my last one and kind of spread them out just a little bit. I might fit one more in there, but I'm going to maybe trim some little wild strings around. I'm going to kind of twist around my little tails to make sure they're all facing the right direction, but I love the way it's looking. And so now all I got to do is I'm going to go upstairs and see if I can find some little white letters. Uh, to put on my stars and then I'm going to attach them onto the wreath but it's seriously a, a 30 minute project. When I get back with you I'll show you my finished wreath. 
there you go friends this is my take on the bandana wreath made with thrifted fabric well, i encourage you to look at the tablecloths at the dust ruffles and things and see what kind of patriotic or seasonal themed fabric you can find to make one of these but let me just move in a little closer like the little hobby lobby stars i just painted them blue rubbed a little silver stickles on there to give them a little sparkle and i think it's simple enough but i've got it stuck on my front door right now because the lighting's better but this is going to go on my back door for majority of the summer so i just love it and hope it inspires you in some way thanks for watching bye bye